We tracked down Juarez and I expected violence, but he told us that he had no idea that the Colonel wanted us dead. He claimed that Barnsby lied to him as well. I'm not sure my brothers believed him, but then they never really trusted him in the first place. Besides, Juarez had the girl and was leading us to the medallion. It served Ray's purpose to keep the peace. As we continued on our way, there was a tense silence. The whole situation made my skin crawl. Seeing Father was the only one I could talk to. And then one night he just up and disappeared. We had no choice but to continue on without him. Deeper into a wilderness few white men had ever seen. No trace. It doesn't make sense. Maybe he went to take a piece and the Comanches got him. If that was the case, we'd already be dead. Come on, let's go. If he's still alive, he'll catch up with us. Go where? You know how to find that Apache village? To the huge weeping rock. That's what he told me. That's where the Apaches are. You see, we'll find it. You probably can see it for miles. Let's take a look around. Look, the weeping rock. That's got to be it. But we're going to have to go around those hills. Well, let's go. We found it. We gotta go around the pass and find a place to cross the river. I guess we don't need your half-breed anymore. Mount up and keep your eyes open. Stay close to the wagons. They say you can't see a redskin until he cuts your throat. No, no, no. They don't cut throats. They scalp. They Move! They're blocking the road! They They feel you full of arrows. They crack skulls open with hatchets. What are you trying to do? You scare me? Not trying, Pancho. Succeeding. Pendejo! Don't move away from the wagons! Let's go. Indians! There in the bushes! Where? I can't see any! Stop the wagons! What did you see? In the woods, I saw one. Amigos, you will see what Pancho was so afraid of. Hurry! Indians, right. Your men can't tell the difference between a man and a bird. I'm telling you they're here. I can smell him. 
And I can smell someone pissing their pants. Amigo, calm down. It's better to be careful. Vámonos, let's go! Get out of the way! That gringo is getting on my nerves. Bueno, calma, Danny. You still say there are no Indians here, amigo. Well, I didn't say the word. I said that someone pissed his pants, and I was right. Come back, you pendejo. The bastard's going to bring back his whole tribe. Mount up! Move! We better find a way over the river. So quick. Where's the second wagon? 
I don't know. It raced across the river. Maybe your brother Patton. And maybe they were carried away by the horses. We gotta follow them. You go on alone while we push the wagon out. Move! Right. Thomas will find her. We'll meet up at the wagon. Just follow me and do what I say. Quick! Follow me. Keep close. Redskins took the wagon. Come on. And Thomas? We're, we were supposed to wait here. There's no time. We'll find them. Redskins took the wagon. Come on. And Thomas? We're, we were supposed to wait here. There's no time. We'll find them. Let's go. Oh. 
Okay, we can go. to be. Right now, Juarez needs me and Ray. Whatever happens, you know I'll protect you. I think she already has a good protector. Now, I warned you, brother. Don't you let me down. Ray? What you doing here? You left the wagon? No, the Comanches took it. So we can go back to Mendoza? Yeah, but what for? For the rifles. The Apaches will trade us the medallion form, remember? Ah, those rifles. You mean the ones we don't have. All right, let's go. My men, you two are tough. It's the second time you rescue my Marisa, and I go and take you for Comanche. Where is my wagon? The Comanches took it. Maybe they'll leave us alone now. Listen, friend. I'm grateful that you saved my woman, but now we need to save the wagon. There's 100 rifles on it. Oh, shit. Well, they couldn't have gotten far. Mount up, amigos. At least they won't bother covering their tracks.
We got him now. They don't seem too worried. You see that rock over there? You climb up there and I'll flush them out. And we'll see how worried they are then. All right, let's take that wagon. Go right. The whole damn tribe! Let's get the hell out of here! Andale! Get on the wagon and grab that Gatling gun! What the hell? Why aren't they chasing us? Look around, amigo. Weeping Rock. See, si, amigo. This is Apache territory. Those Comanche don't need another enemy. You know, amigo, I think your god is watching over us. We made it through Comanche territory, and yet we still have our scalps. Of course he's watching over us. He loves us. All of us. Even you. There are no evil men. Only evil deeds. Evil depends on your point of view. The savages here see us as white devils. Yet, because we bring them rifles, they welcome us with open arms. Friends, easy. Sing farther. Tell your brothers we are not enemies. We have your weapons, your rifles. There will be no deal, Snake Tongue. You tried to trick us. This weapon does not work. One rifle, one of 300. None of them work. No, this isn't necessary. Kaki Ho. Kill them all. No, father. This is the young shaman who warned me of their treachery. That little bastard. 
Father, please. The young shaman is my friend. He betrayed his own kind to protect our people. And for this, what should his reward be? Their lives. Please, spare their lives. The young shaman's heart is so big it covers his eyes. But as he's seeing father's friend, I will do as he wishes. The great Apache war chief, Running River, spares your lives. Leave our land. We will take your horses, your weapons, and your wagons as ransom. And the woman. What? Running River wants your woman. Juan. As you're the only one Juan. who knew of the rifles. No. You're the only one who could have betrayed Juan. me. Take her. Beat her. What? Enjoy her. For she is a lying whore, and that is all she's good for. The young shaman and his kin can stay in our camp and rest their horses, or they should not expect a warm welcome.